Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Gardener here for another first look. This game is called Paragon Pioneers. It's a little bit of a city builder slash clickable game. Um, it's very early access, so we're gonna go into settings and there's no like main menu. So we're just gonna reset our current game so we can play brand new with you guys. Reset our game and here we are. Greetings, Envoy of the Paragons. Allow me to introduce myself. You can read through this if you want to. It's a brief little tutorial that we're gonna have here and then um, it'll kind of walk us through the game. Immediately after we made landfall, a storm swept us from the sea. That means for now we have no ships can reach us. Oh no, that's not good at all. The island is full of trees. Basically tells you, you click on a tree three times, it gives you a log. And then you click on this one time and it gives you, it removes your, your stump, which allows another tree to grow. So this here is our basically our contour, our contour. It collects goods from other buildings and adds them to the island stores. You can only build one contour per island. I guess it's kind of like your home base. Uh, we can't move it as of yet, but it has a bit of a radius as you see here. So let's just follow the bit of the tutorial. The this is basically your fog of war type things. Chop trees until you have five logs. So you can hold this down, which doesn't do anything. You need to click it three times. I'm not sure why that's actually selected like that. You just click, 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 and then we get five logs, and there your, ne your next tutorial pops up. Your axe wielding stuff is the stuff. Your axe wielding axe swing is the stuff of legends. Now we have a build menu, and we can build a lumberjack. Opens up the preview. You can you can pause this and read this as you as you do. So um, I don't know why this is here, honestly, but we're gonna click our build menu. This is a delete or basically a demolish button. Uh, when you harvest the tree stumps, other ones get put in their place. So we have our our build menu. Right now, the only thing we can build are these things. We have this. We could build trees by placing trees down, which we don't want to do. And you could build a, again, this is a, these things we don't have unlocked. And there's no tool tips until you click on it like this. And then this one, it wouldn't do it. So this is a lumberjack. Chops nearby trees for wood. And then you select this. It basically tells you it, do, it does up to 12 in two seconds to get you up to three like this is basically what it can do um and then how many you get from it and we're going to place it right here actually let's place it oh let's place it here so if you click and you mess and you misclick you left click on it again and it demolishes it here it shows that there's no trees that it can harvest so we might better spot will be here and you click on the check mark and now one's going to automatically be harvesting trees for us Sustainability. If you're eager to take down the da -da, read now we need a forester. A forester will plant the trees that we cut down. You can you can see in that they're being cut down. You see it like there's no little people, but it, it is working. Now it says build a forester. So let's go in and let's build a forester. A forester requires ten logs. We have zero logs, as you see. So we can't actually build. Why will it let us build this? Yeah, it says here we have ten, we need ten logs, so we don't we can't actually um, I think we yeah, won't let us place it. So what that means is we got to manually just go through and just click. I mean, it goes very fast. The top left of the screen that has how many trees we have. Uh, <clears throat> we need ten trees, and there we go. And this one's going to store trees until we have a place to put them. But we can click on this with left click, and we can put it into our inventory. So let's go to the forester as it asks us to, and let's put it right here. Basically, it'll fill in trees along this whole area here. Let's put it right there. There we go. Now, transport tycoon. Now we have to do something with storage, which means we now have to have a warehouse. And then you can pause and read these as we go if you want. Uh, secure the basic of Humber. We also need to put pioneer huts, and that's how you get more people or population, I guess you would say. So let's place a warehouse. Can we afford it? We have 10. We need 10. We don't have 10, but guess what? There's two in here. And let's just click some for ourselves. There we have 10 again. All right, let's, we can build any one of these things. We can build a, whoops, let's go out of that. We can go and we can build a pioneer's hut. Provides living space for 10 pioneers. Pioneers generate military units for the island's garrison. We're not up to that yet, obviously, so we don't need it quite yet, but it wants us to build a pioneer's hut. We also have a well, which provides water to houses, which we will need, of course. And then there's other things like farming, which you have to reach a certain population, which right now our population, I believe, is at zero. And this one here is a warehouse. Allows other buildings to access the island stores and collect goods. So it also expands the island stores by five per good. So we're actually going to build this. And I'm going to put this here. Or should I put it... Hmm. I think I'm going to put it here. I think that makes sense. Because this is full. 
This should... Yes, there it goes. It automatically... <clears throat> excuse me. It automatically... Uh... No, what it's doing now. Oh, it's waiting on crops to grow. So we basically exhausted everything. Now, one thing is, is you can... Can you move this? Yes, you can. No, let's just copy it. That's not what I want. So it, it exhausted all the trees around it. So now we need the forester to plant the trees. And they take a bit of time. But you know what? We'll just wait on this now. Our, our storage is at six. This one is obviously at zero because our storage is now down here. Now, if we click on view island storage, it brings up basically everything in the game. Uh, the only thing we have right now is, is logs. And you can hold, it tells you stock history. Uh, you have, this is, I think, what we currently have. This is happiness related things. We, we, there's, there's a lot of things in this game we haven't touched at all yet, obviously. Tools, and then this is different buildings and different crops like that. And this would be, is everything. So the next thing we're going to do is make a pioneer hut. Now the problem is these are grayed out. We need 10 logs. We have six. So we're going to come down here and just do it ourselves. There you go. Let's do the pioneer's hut. Let's put the pioneer's hut over here. It might open up a bit more fog of war. Uh-oh. I can hear shouting outside. It must be your pioneers cheering for you. Now that the first inhabitants have moved in, you can see their current mood. They are not happy. Our mood is actually its going to be when we pop off here. So let's better get on with it. So our mood is is they're, they're angry. And they're angry because they have needs. And again, this is the tutorial. If you disable this, it won't pop up. But I figure we'll do the tutorial together here. So basically, they have needs. They need fish, and they also need water, which shows you over here. Um, they actually want liquor, which we can't make yet. They want fish, and they want water, which is not hard at all because if you remember, and we also have different icons now. This brings up our pioneers. Like, and we don't have any of these guys yet close that off and we also have this is our internal storage we actually have a a uh, button for that which is which is great and here we're going to go and we want to build a well but we can't because we need 10 everyone's everything needs 10 logs for some reason let's just and then these are go these are very quickly to replant these so you can kind of come through and mow these down three clicks per and then the, the stumps take one to uh to regrow but they take a bit of time, obviously. We have 18 stumps, or eight, yeah, 18 logs. Now let's place a well. And we want to place the well. Like you see how it has a bit of a radius. So I think our 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 um our area where we're gonna have our housing is gonna be here. Let's place the well right here. I don't think it has to be on the water. That I don't know. I'll have to check that in a second. Here it also says about luxuries. We have needs are at 100 percent Residents move in, and then, so these are the things you need to meet. Uh, luxuries, prefer to eat fish, but we build a fisherman's hut until we have the 10 pioneers, so we can't actually do that yet. Best to wait until we have moved in or build more pioneer huts, and then this is just some more information about that. So the well is fine. The well is providing water. Accommodate 10 pioneers. Look, they're happy now, and I'm not sure what the default rate is on how fast they come in. Um, right now, it says zero per hour because we need to have both of these satisfied. Now the question is, do we have enough? Can we build a fishing hut? And the answer is no, because we need 10 pioneers. Right now we have six. I thought it actually said zero per hour, but this is actually ticking up. Now we're at seven. So maybe there's a default. Yeah, we can't do any of these yet, obviously, because we don't have any. These are the different ranks of so pioneers are like the fighters. You have colonists, you have townsmen, merchants, and then paragons, which is like, I would think like the high tier of them. We're at, nine see so i'm not sure what the tick rate of this is it doesn't really sh like there's no tick rate if that makes sense um we can now build a fisherman hut because we have 10 and 10 is all that can fit in a house which you can see down here which means now we can finally build a fisher hut or a fisherman <clears throat> the problem is this doesn't provide much it has to be linked to this i believe so we'll see if that actually works or not that should go to there. Here we go. Now we're producing fighters, I guess you want to call them. All this shouting has your pioneers sound happy. Uh, luxuries, you can see how quickly this is happening, which we already looked at, the pioneer thing. The uh, population and the, um, the happiness there. In order to explore the rest of your island with too danger, we grow our milita into a sizable force. It's a good idea to accelerate the recruiting process into by fulfilling the other luxuries. So we need more huts, but we also need fish. Now we're producing fish. It's pretty slow. It's at, I think, one every 
X amount of minutes, so it's not very quick. And the problem is we can't build another fisherman's hut because um, we don't have we don't have the wood for it. Uh, whoops, 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 whoops! Get out of that menu. But we can get the we can get the uh, the wood for it. And again, they regrow pretty quickly. Uh, so the fish are coming in slowly but surely. They should be going into our storage. No, because I think they're being consumed right away. Right. Let's actually click on this. Uh, yes, right now we're doing zero per hour because they need the fish. Now, I, th I don't know how exactly how this works. Um, we have no luxury yet, which the luxury is um, the fish and then also the, the liquor, I guess you'd call it. So we have one fish. Now, the question is how... I know how we have to do this. We have to put a storage warehouse here. And the only... I don't know actually how that works. Hmm... Let me think about it. Allows other buildings to access island storage collections also. Hmm. I think it actually has to be within their radius here. I don't, oh, no, 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 I keep clicking by mistake. So this is water. This is this. Do they have any luxury at all right now? Zero. So I think we actually have to, can I move this? That's a copy. I thought I could move this. Um, can I move from here? No, this is just a desktop. We have 22 wood. Maybe I actually have to move these closer because these have to be on water. Let me just put a warehouse down and let me just see if that does anything. I don't know if it will because this now has... F oh, it doesn't have fish in it. Wait a minute, what? Hmm. Not really sure there, honestly. I'm not sure why that's... Can I put it here? I can't put it there. Can I put it... Can put it there. Um, does it show you... Oh, it has a percentage of uh, productivity. So I guess that would be the best. Yeah, okay. So we have to put them here. Okay. Now, does this have fish in it yet? Okay, it does have fish in it now. Are these guys able to... Yes, okay, it does. So the way the way it looks like it works is is if you have something hooked into your warehouse, which is here, this we're going to have to build another another warehouse, which can we afford that yet? We can't. Now we can. Because you have to have these linked together. Because now we're going to be doing double fish. It's at 125%. Because so I think one, two, three. So I think each one of these gives you 25%. So I'm not sure how you'd actually have more. If you put it here... One, two, three, four, five, six. That'd be 150 percent. Uh, it doesn't look like you can move buildings, <clears throat> which is fine. So right now we have to get 50 pioneers. So the way we have this set up, I bet you this could even could this hold water? Could these hold water? Um, no. Okay, so that has to be directly connected. But we have fish now, which is great. Um, we're struggling with wood a little bit, so let me just kind of mow some of these down. And then we'll come back and they'll replant them by themselves. So we need to have 50 pioneers. Right now we have 10 because 10 is the max that a house can 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 hold. So we're going to put the other house. Might as, well, might as well line these up. Can I afford it? I can't afford another one because we need... Uh, what do you need for that? Oh, that's not what I want. Nope, no, no, no. I want... Um, <clears throat> needs 10 more wood. So let's just mow some of these trees down. I mean, it goes pretty quickly. I think the other idea for the woodcutter areas is to have a lot more foresters around i guess i don't know i gave us 14 so i want to build another hut let's build it here i don't know exactly how to get rid of the fog of war or clouds of war if it were um i don't i don't know if 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 we're if we're bringing in enough fish right now we're here we're five of four because we're at 125 percent um i'm thinking of actually putting another fishery hut down here i can't quite afford it just to give us another little boost <clears throat> Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll get rid of... Can I... I can't move these, can I? No, I thought I could move them. Click and drag, click and drag. No, so let's just... Let's demolish this and this. I hate to do that, but... Um, oh, we don't have enough... Oh, I don't have enough um, wood yet. Because we don't get anything back for that. So that might have been a little mistake. But that's okay. I think we'll be okay. There we go. Okay, let's build our fisher hut down here because it gives us 150%, right? Uh, which is just speed related. And we're going to put another warehouse. 
right about here and then we're good to go now you can upgrade these things obviously which gives you expanding range and everything but you need boards and we don't uh, we don't have boards so right now we have 50 pioneers this will they accommodate 10 each um which means we obviously have to have five buildings but our fish should be coming in a bit faster we don't have the beer yet so we're gonna have to do some more we're gonna have to do not more from farming. I don't know how to get these out of the, the fog of war out of here. Uh, let's see. Let's build a couple more wood. Again, these will all grow back. So we need more pioneer huts. We can build one here and we can build one here. Or is that going to explode that one? Another one here. And that should be enough because that'll be 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This should be easily be able to supply all this. Yeah, okay. So the, the, the luxury... Uh, we're at 100%. So right now our military would be 5.4 an hour. I think this is just a general, yeah, combined. So we're at 100% fish. Uh, we are 0% booze, obviously. So we're not quite there yet. So we have to wait for this to tick through. We're at 38. It should tick up pretty quickly. Uh, this is 10 of 10, 10 of 10, 10 of 10. This is at 5, and this is also at 5. Now, again, the woodcutter is here. Um... <clears throat> I wonder if it would make sense to put like a woodcutter at each of these corners. That almost seems to make more sense to me. Let me do that instead. I just have to figure out where, where it is. So the one of them is going to be right here. No, it should actually should be here. Because these will go out. Okay, that's how it has to go. I, I th Well, maybe not it has to go. But I think having it like here... I don't know why these are red. I think because there's no... Tr there's Nah, you know what? Let's just leave it. I don't want to mess with it too much. <clears throat> We're at 48 Pioneers, which is awesome. When we hit 50, we'll tick up to our next... Um, I think we'll be able to build... We can only build one... Con oh, here we go. Now we're at the farming. Oh, here's exactly what I wanted to... was just going to talk about. Now that we have 50 Pioneers, you can access the potato farm to build when we need a planks, which are produced in a sawmill. The sawmill needs a supply of wood to cut into planks, like other good buildings to pick up wood... Um, etc. Etc. So basically, how this is laid out here, you have your <clears throat> your warehouse, you have this, this, and this is nice. Is that is exactly what we're going to do? That's going to be a log cutter or a sawmill. Do we have twenty logs? We do. So we're going to put the sawmill right. It actually just needs to be in line with this. I think this is fine. Wow, this is a huge area. Wait a minute. Does it? Hold on. I want to see what the tool tooltip says. Does it say? You can't click on these. Um, Solomon was in a supply of wood to cut planks. Like other good buildings, it picks up wood when it needs from a lumberjack hut. Within, okay, so it's within the lumberjack. Uh, oh, okay. So, oh, directly from the storage. Okay, so it's better to have it. I understand. It's better to have it like uh, somewhere like here. Let's do that. And then this can expand. Let's, I know how to do the farming. I want to put another logger camp. Um, or another logging camp right here. Again, I think there's just nothing here, so that's fine. And then the storage, the storage is fine. Uh, this will be overflow storage because it'll all eventually go into overflow storage. And uh, yeah, I think we're doing okay now. Build now we have to do farming, a bit of farming. Uh, problem is we have no, we have no, uh, this is very slow. It's how does it, so this is not in range, it is in range of this. Oh, maybe we're not in the correct range. Has to, so I think this actually has to be within range of it. So maybe I should have I should move this. But the problem is you don't get anything back if you if you demolish this. You don't get anything back. So maybe what we'll end up doing is let's just come into here and let's cut all these down by hand. I mean it's faster doing it by hand, obviously, because we can just click, click, click. But in the long run, I think it makes sense to have these kind of automated in a sense. Yeah, and you just click on the building and there you go. So let's put another warehouse. Um, here, yeah, kind of, this is kind of backwards. I should I should have done it how that picture showed, but you know what? It's fine. Now the planks, we have five planks. We need all right. So we have potato farm, which takes ten planks, and we have a potato field, which takes nothing. So we can we can plop that down. We can put that here, like whoop, uh, like that, and then we're gonna need the potato farm, which needs how many planks? Ten planks. We're almost there. Again, this will also draw from the storage that we have. What is this? Oh, there's no trees, so I cut them all down. <laughs> that would explain it. Uh, do we have 10 planks set? We do not. It's going as fast as it can. 
Uh, I wonder why it says two though. Oh, okay, now it, now it automatically took it out. So you got about seven seconds, 10 seconds. I think it's 10 seconds per. Let's watch when it ticks over what it says. 12 seconds, okay, that's fine. Now these are potato fields, which are doing nothing until we put a potato farm, which is going to be, oh, we need 10 planks. Uh oh, there he is, <clears throat> excuse me. And this can only, it, it says harvest potatoes from fields and produces, produces schnapps from the potatoes. So basically liquor from like a potato vodka. It's interesting that it can't grab from corners like this. It's only these four tiles. It's a bit weird how it's set up, uh, <clears throat> but it is what it is. All righty, here we go. Your pioneers are now fully satisfied. That means we're gonna get military. Everything for luxury, they reward you with this high rate of military recruitment. Since we're slowly running out of space, we definitely are, we need to make space. Cause I think you need the milita to actually expand your little area here. Before we move out, we need a more powerful force. Keep expanding our colony, and I'll be back as soon as we have enough troops. You see current garrison occupy in the bar above, blah, 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 blah. If you have important tasks, you can come back later by then, because it kind of runs by itself. Um, like, I can just let it go, right? Uh, but we'll do some things. We have zero military, and we need five military units. Now, to get them, what does this do? Oh, this doesn't do anything. So we basically need... These are the units. So basically this is 80% combat maybe. This might be attack speed. This might be speed, I think. This may be power. This is health. These look at all the units you can have. Foot soldier, knight, cannoneer. These are really awesome. But anyway, this doesn't do anything because I think we can't click on it yet. Uh, we need to recruit them by expanding. And mainly it's because of, uh, whoop, that's full now. Uh, let's see, can I put a, oh, it's not full. It doesn't have anything done yet. Okay. So the issue here is we need to get, um, this has to be hundred percent for us to get military units, which is why they said about, uh, waiting. Now these say four or four, what is the issue here? Oh, it's waiting for, oh, you can actually click on the field. Okay. So what we'll do in the meantime is let's put another field up here because it seems like we're going to be waiting around a while for this. Put the field here, uh, or the the, the uh, farm there, and then the fields don't cost anything. But unfortunately, you can only put them in these corners for some odd reason, but it's okay. Uh, the planting time on these are how long? So it's 50 seconds. There has to be a growing phase, isn't there? Um... Is there a growing phase? So it takes, okay, f basically four minutes for one. And then we're at, I'm not sure that it says one minute. I mean, I guess it's in the sense to be, you get f it takes four minutes per one, but if you have four of them, it only takes one minute in theory. Uh, I don't think we're at that. I don't think we're okay. What's the problem? Oh, here we're full. Is this full? No. Can we upgrade anything yet? We cannot upgrade anything uh, as of yet. How's our fish doing? Okay, we're doing pretty well. So we're basically waiting for everything to grow. Um, is this planting now? Okay, they gotta wait. Okay, now there's a timer. So we should, there we go. Oh, look, it ticked over already. So it takes, okay, so it harvests one field. And then every minute it harvests another one because these are like fully grown now. These haven't been planted. <laughs> So I think that's basically what it means. Harvest potato fields and produces schnapps. So it's doing it all at one time. We actually have a one of five, but the problem is we have no storage. Again, I kept messing up my storage. Uh, I think I should redo this a little bit better. We need to have storage, uh, which will go about here because this will automatically go into it. The schnapsies eventually will go into it. And then, um, so I can pull this out and that should go to one of our, yeah, 52%, 53%. That means it's going up. There, okay, so it must be a general pool then. Uh, I don't know if this will hit 100% because we only had one coming out of it. But it also means we need to have a warehouse up here. Yeah, we're really kind of wasting money here for warehousing. So yeah, so it's every minute it's going to give you one, I think, right? Right, so it takes four minutes for them to produce. And then every minute after it cycles through. And then I guess it's going to be another four minutes for this one to go. I don't know. But uh, the units are at, we're at 12 per hour now. The question is, do these, do these have to be at 100%? Because it says recruit five milita. 
Um, you can see the garrison occupation bar above. Click on it, visit the garrison, the mere site, boost our troops. Um, it doesn't say exactly. Oh! Now this is down to one. Before it was at. Oh, we have a recruit. We have one. We have one right here. We have one recruit, and this is this one. Okay, so it's basically. All right, these are cooking now, or not cooking, but but working. Okay, good. I think we're okay now. Let me. Okay, we got. Why did that ding over again? Is it gonna do it again here? So we're at 15 hour. We're at everything we need. Is there another building we're missing? Mm, no. Okay. Um. I don't exactly know how we recruit them. Is it in here somehow? No. Like it has everything. Everything is 100% satisfied. Colonists, yes. Yeah, so it's not in here. It's under here. But uh, I don't get. Like I can't. I can't click on anything here. I can click on these. But I don't know how to actually accept them. Let me just read it. Your troops will wait in your garrison until they're needed. When they are in battle, they're placed in the island's garrison and reserve for the return. Each island has passed 200. Okay. Uh, you can build ships, garrisons as soon as you arrive. Well, that's, oh, we actually can expand off this island then, it looks like. Each new class villager unlocks access to additional types of military. Okay, so we're not there. Okay, so we, we don't have a... We can't build a garrison, can we? Huh, so maybe that's why I said come back later. But it's... Hmm. So we only have... We have one occupant. I don't know how to make you... Ha make us have more of them. We could upgrade... Provide living space. The pioneers generate military units for the audience garrison when they are fully satisfied. Upgrade to turn the pioneers into colonists. Oh... So they're all full. Okay, that's in. Oh, okay. You know what? This military thing might take a while. So let's actually upgrade one of these and see what happens. Provides living. Oh, we got an achievement, which you can't see because it's just a Steam achievement. Provides living space for fifteen oh, for fifteen colonists. Okay. So now we're. If you see on the screen, um, upgrade to turn colonists into. Oh, we need a lot. We're needing. Okay. So now we have colonists. So if you click on this, oh wow, 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 wow. So now, okay. So it's basically. Basic needs, luxuries for pioneers. This then carries over here as basic needs. These are going to be luxuries. So I guess when we get to this, all five of these will become needs. Okay. So this is 100%. This is 0%. This looks like paper and better liquor. And that gives you that gives you gold per hour. Okay. And if you click on... Oh, we got another we got another person, another military unit. So I guess I think that's how it works where you can actually buy them then. Okay. So we're at two... Uh, I'm not sure how that goes up. I don't. Honestly, I still don't know that part. But you know what? We're moving right along. We can't build. A, we can't build anything else at the moment. Um, we could probably build another hut. I don't know if that's worthwhile doing. Maybe. I mean, I guess it speeds up. Um, speeds up everything. We have a lot of. Yeah. Okay. Everything's doing good. These are full. I'm guessing. No, they need trees. Okay. But you know what, guys? I think we're actually out of time. So this is our first look at at Paragon. Pioneers. It's a cute little game. Um, I'm anxious to see how what to ex how it expands in here. And apparently, it shows apparently you can get on a boat, but maybe that sails off like a new island or something. But we're doing all the basic stuff. We have to wait for this to tick up. So maybe off camera, I'll let this tick up to five and then come back for the next episode. But anyway, I want to do the first look for you guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. It's a fun little game. Again, if you don't want to read the tutorials, it would probably be a bit faster. Um, but it's good to do them the first time. It kind of tells you some things. I still even went back to them, as you saw. But thank you guys so much for joining me. And uh, I have a bunch more demos coming out. Or beginners guides coming out. Or beginner uh, let's plays, I guess you would say. First look games coming out from the uh, next fest from Steam over the next little while. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing this game. And to seeing uh, how deep like the story goes. I mean, we have a lot of, a lot of military units. A lot of pioneer units. And uh, we'll see what happens. It reminds me a little bit of Factory Town, but the way the graphics are. Um, but it's very much like a city builder, you know, similar to that. But anyway, guys, 
Thank you so much for joining me. Much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, please consider leaving me a subscribe. It would really help with the channel. And also a like and a comment on the video would really help out with me getting exposure. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'll catch you next time with another Paragon Pioneers. Take care now.